Hi, welcome to Ideas Lab. I'm a Mignesh Balboja, biomedical engineer here at the University of Virginia. And this is one of the state-of-the-art labs that biomedical engineers have access to. It's a course called Ideas, where you design a lot of experiments, a lot of cool tools, and learn a lot, really, about what biomedical engineering is. What is a biomedical engineer? A biomedical engineer is someone who uses biology and engineering to advance the field of medicine, design cool new tools. All the tools you see at the hospital, all the cool equipment in here, all those things are designed by biomedical engineers. Let's take a tour of Ideas Lab. Another integral part about our lab is the cell culture room right here. This is where we are able to store various biological specimens, biological tissue in both the special incubators and refrigerator. We have special fume hoods that are state of the art and basically where we do a lot of our sterile experiments. You can also see some more equipment over here. We have a special microscope back there. We also have the centrifuge over here which if any of you guys know what it does, it basically spins around, base, um, it spins around little test tubes until at super high speeds. So we can basically separate solids from liquids inside the tubes and we can separate some biological specimens out. Here's an example of a bench setup where you sit. If you're a senior ideas lab, you could be collecting data from a microscope, looking at maybe cells under a microscope, and analyzing information on a computer. Or it could be using electrical engineering equipment to build various circuit boards to analyze signals from the body. What we have here is an instar machine, which is used for uniaxial tensile testing. So if you have any biological tissue and you want to know the stress or strain about various other material properties, you can place it inside this machine, and basically the machine will pull apart the whatever biological tissue you place right here. For visual purposes, we placed a glove right here. And it's gonna slowly spread it apart by applying a constant force or any type of force you can feed into the machine. And when we what we can really use with this information is we can analyze the data and then be able to calculate various material properties such as like its stress and strain which can be used to help design various instruments that are going into your body but also learn more about just the mechanical properties about biological tissue in your body. So what I want to show you here is an example of us running an experiment. So we want to figure out the if we apply a constant force to this glove by pulling it apart when will it basically snap. So if we start the test You can see that slowly being pushed apart. And right here on the computer, you can see that we're feeding in about four newtons of force, and we're slowly applying more and more force, and we can see the displacement too. And what's showing up right here is we can see the amount of load we're, we're putting on the glove, and then how much it's stretching also. Later on, we can analyze this graph right here to understand more about the material properties. So now that you saw the specimen broke, if we look at the graph, we can figure out at exactly what length and what load the specimen uh, broke apart. 
Now if we take this data to another software to analyze more closely, we can figure out more about how strong or how stretchy the glove actually is and quantitatively measure. Another big part of a biomedical engineering is also the electrical engineering component. You can see right here, someone in our lab is currently building an ECG to measure various electrical properties about how your heart is beating and if it's healthy or not. Some of the cool equipment that we have in the lab are the oscilloscope, a power supply, various other power supplies that we can use to basically build our ECG unit. Thank you all for coming on this tour of Ideas Lab with us. We hope it's been informative during this pandemic. And we hope to see a bunch of you guys here working on these very lab benches, getting your degree in biomedical engineering very soon. Go Hoos!